You're off the clock with Trish and Steve. Hey, Steve Bows. Hey, Trish. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am well. Thank you. I like your t-shirt representing the East Coast there. Go be you. Oh, like Boston Terrier on it. Okay. Go Terriers. I have my shirt. I'm representing Hawaii today. So I'm like, I'm thinking way more tropical. Gotcha. Wishing I were there. It's a good, uh, yeah, it's a good thought. <laughs> yeah. But it is Friday. I am working from my couch today, which I, I have to admit, I like working from home. I do. Working from the couch. And I thought, I'm not even going to get up and go to my office. I'm going to just do this right here. Wow. So like we've been reading stories for weeks now about employees who don't want to return to offices, physical workplaces and offices. They're fighting back. You're literally fighting back about oh getting gosh. off your couch and walking to your home office. So that's rough. If, you can, if we can't convince you to walk into the home office, there's no way we're getting you into a real office. I don't think. No. <laughs> you want to know what's worse, Steve, is I actually have two home offices. I have one that's like down. Hold on if I can angle that right. There's a hallway back there, down the hallway. Then you hang a right and then it's down that hallway and there's the office. But not only that, like I literally like right there behind me have another office. <laughs> I couldn't even, uh, couldn't even convince myself to go that far. So all right, employers, employers telling you that's, that's what you're up against right there. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. So, don't take that, that walk down that hall. That's rough. That's a commute. That's. It's, it's really dark down there. 13 seconds. Yeah. You, you'll never get that time back. <laughs> I know. No, but then I thought, oh, then I've got it. Because I've been writing. When I write, I tend to write either like on the couch or at the desk that you just sat behind me. So, yeah. go. I don't, I don't go down to the other office unless I'm like recording things or lots mm -hmm. of meetings, you know, need quiet, that sort of thing. So, gotcha. anyway. Yeah. So, plus... I normally don't watch TV when I'm working, but I've got it on. It's, I don't have the sound on, but I've been watching. I was going to ask you about this. I'm watching the World Athletics Indoor Track and Field Championships. Nice. Okay. Are you into track and field? Did you ever like participate? Are you a track person? No, not really. I'll watch some of it at the Olympics, I guess. But uh... You might like this. It's on NBC right now. So if you've got nothing else to do while you're working today, just uh, throw on a little track and field. Okay. Right now they're doing the shot put, which I had to look up. How do you know how much they weigh? They're different depending on men and women. I will say. Uh, I don't know, twelve pounds or so, if I had to guess, something like that. For men, it's closer to like sixteen pounds. And wow. again, it's on the age of the man and some other factors. But I mean, those guys are throwing. It's like heavy. They're really big. It's like would fill your whole hand, sort of shot put. So, so that's going on today. Cool. What's going on with you? What have you been up to? Uh yeah, it's Friday. I, I you know. Uh, playing some, uh, you know, I, I was reading about, uh, remember the, the game show $25,000 pyramid It later became $100,000 pyramid. You remember that one? I do. Remember how, how it worked, how it was played? Yes. Okay. So like there would be a category. Play something. Yeah. So you ready? I, so you're going to have to try to guess the category. I'll give you some clues. I have to guess the category. You okay. guess the, how it worked, right? So like, it might be like, this is not the answer, but it might be like, I don't know. The category might have been things in your kitchen, and then the other partner okay. would say, you know, stove, toaster, coffee pot, right? And then you would okay. say things in the kitchen, right? So that's how yes. it was. Ready? Okay, ready? Here we go. You ready? Yes. <laughs> v. Alien G show. R M. Oh, uh, a BTS members. You got it. There you go. <laughs> members of BTS. How about that? I know all the members of BTS. Do you? Yes, I think I can name all seven. There's V, Suga, J Hope, yeah, RM, Rap Monster, uh, uh, Jimin, yeah, Jin. Jin is number six, and number seven is uh, Jungkook. Well, Jungkook, 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 you got him. I got him. All right, you I win. Know you win the that. pyramid game. Three clues. That's it. That's oh the game. Gosh. That's the game. Wow. Okay. Hey, since we're talking entertainment, I have entertainment news. I may scoop you on this. You ready? Okay. Britney Spears marries Sam Eshgari yesterday. I did not hear about that. Good for her. Free Good Britney. Her, right? That was the whole thing. I guess she that is free now. Thing. She Well, she didn't stay free for too long. She got married. But she had the freedom to marry, which I think is really important. So anyway, congratulations, Britney Spears, on your nuptials yesterday. Um, of course, she had a whole lot of 
famous people there, and um, I didn't see any I mention. Get my invite. Somehow. Family. I was gonna say I don't think she invited her family either. So check my um, mail. One thing I did want to ask you: I know you're not a huge TikTok user, but have you heard about the whole scandal going on? Meaning about- not at all. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to look this one up. Uh, her her TikTok name was Tammy and Twins. It's an HR lady out of Ontario, Canada, who did a huge rant. She's like up in the up in the screen, law like this, you know, like ranting and raving. That's always about funny. about the freedom fighters, right? So that's fine. She's got an opinion, but the whole thing was about how the freedom fighters are going to lose all their jobs, and because they are not afraid of posting on social media about their freedom fighting. They are going to lose their jobs and that recruiters and HR people are a tight knit, like small community, and they're going to not get jobs because of their participation. What what are they fighting for? What type of freedom? I'm not sure I follow the whole story. Um, I'm not a big political person, but it's, you know, it's like the whole right wing freedom fighter sort of, I wasn't like the convoys of truckers so, in Canada. and then I was like, unaware that people were being imprisoned or their freedom was being taken away in Ontario. I've not been following the local news. Well, like, see, like anyway. Rough in Canada. Part. No, they're in the U.S. too. But anyway, oh, okay. the point was is that she does this whole rant on how like they're going to lose their jobs because they're, they're not pretty free up there. But all. then she, she ends her rant. Like you've got to Google it while it's still up. She ends her rant basically flipping everybody off Tell them to go, you know, whatever. And hmm. as soon as I saw it, I'm like, oh, she just lost her job. She just, she just did. Yeah, she'll be. She did. She has, should be free again, though, I guess. Yeah. So I mean, on her hands. <laughs> she's now off of TikTok. Her LinkedIn has been wiped out. Um, but you can't, people, of course, have screenshotted it. So yeah, she was a very high level person in human resources in Canada. And apparently, you know, their equivalent of Sherm, uh, I forget what they call it, the HR something or another, mm-hmm. anyway, is now investigating her to see if she has ethical violations. So, uh, uh, hey, yeah, hey, poor Tammy taste violation, twins. maybe. I don't know about ethics, but. Uh, hey, Tammy and Twins, you might not want to tell people to be careful about what they post on social media because they could lose their jobs because then you might okay. lose your job. Trish, uh, while we still have our freedom down here, we in the do. Year, we have our freedom. And I job. want to point out to you: we talked earlier in the week or last week, or we've talked a couple times about the Girl lot. Scout makeup collaboration, of which I think you finally acquired your your Girl Scout Wearing makeup product. Which looks fantastic. I have another <laughs> one for you. I don't know how much of this these collabs you want to dive into. This yeah, one's kind I of fascinating. It's also in the it's also in the makeup kind of world, slight you know makeup adjacent world, Trish. Okay. Make up a collaboration between the fine, fine folks at Velveeta, Vel- Velveeta cheese product. You may be familiar with delicious melts very, very, very well. Uh, they have a nail polish collection collaboration with a company called nails.inc Trish. There are two nail polishes uh, in the collection. One is uh, yellow Velveeta yellow. And then the other is red, which I guess is like the box of Velveeta. It's oh, yeah. Like the on the box. Okay. Yeah. It's called La, La Dolce Velveeta is the name. Uh, two two bottles, $15 cheap, right? And uh, with the added bonus, Trish, according to Nails.Inc. And Velveeta smells like cheese, quote unquote. Oh, no. Which would be pretty awesome. I don't so. know that I want my fingertips to smell like cheese unless I'm eating Cheetos, in which I don't care. <laughs> We have some Cheetos uh, collaboration on some nail polish. I'm sure there's that. been a Cheetos collaboration somewhere along the line. We may have missed. I feel, I feel like the pandemic era really uh, skyrocketed collaborations like crazy. Who, I we, feel like we could talk about one every single day. But. Who can we collaborate with? Someone hit us up. I want to collaborate on something, right? Yeah. Something un- It has to be something unusual. Who would we normally not collaborate with? I don't know. Maybe that freedom fighter person. She's Yeah, she's out. She just lost her job. How about Butcher Box? Let's collaborate with Butcher Box. Sure. Can we get a special, like, you know, off the clock box or something? All right. I like that. We'll work on that. I like Let's it. Hey, that. Butcher Box. What's his name? Mike? Butcher Box? Butcher Box Mike? I think so. All right. Anyway. Hey, that's super exciting. Um, I don't know. That our I'm podcast. Gonna... We didn't mention it all week. Our podcast dropped a couple of days ago, Workplace Movie Hall of Fame, where we broke down the intern. 
with Robert De Niro and Anne Hathaway. It was a great, great movie. Lot, of course, a big workplace movie. Fun time on the podcast. You got some time over your hands uh, on your hands this weekend. Check out our podcast on The Intern, which uh, dropped this week. How about that? Sounds good. And with that, we will say have a good weekend. Thank you for joining us. As always, we will see you back here on Monday. Bye for now.